When we shop or bank, send emails, or make cell phone calls, we trust technology to secure our data from prying eyes. That privacy is made possible by securely coding and then decoding our information, a process called cryptography. In 1984, Shafrira Goldwasser came up with a radical new plan to encode and decode data. Instead of using some sort of secret number code, she suggested using mathematical proofs as codes. It became the basis of much of modern cryptography. She and her colleague Silvio Macaulay called it a zero-knowledge proof. A zero-knowledge proof is a way to convince you that I could solve it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Because if I did, then you would be able to do it yourself. So instead of information, we talk about knowledge. That is not how much information is contained, but how much uh, information you can compute. That is what we call knowledge. Internet security experts agree that her work changed everything. It's possible to, to actually have proofs that are simultaneously convincing, yet uh, reveal nothing. Shafi's contribution was introducing this very idea. Using math like words seems counterintuitive, except to Goldwasser. I was a regular you know, uh, high school student. I loved literature, I wanted to write books. I thought I was going to be this famous author, and I was just very good at math. Goldwasser studied math and computer science at Carnegie Mellon University. In 1983, she completed her Ph.D. in theoretical computer science at the University of California at Berkeley. She now holds a dual appointment at MIT and the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel. Along the way, she developed several revolutionary and useful ways to teach machines to speak to each other securely. Shafi's work has provided a really solid foundation for modern cryptography, which in turn is really an enabling technology for electronic commerce. Every time one of us makes a purchase on the internet, there's all kinds of cryptography happening behind the scenes. A zero-knowledge proof is interactive. In its simplest form, two parties know a secret proof. One asks the other to calculate an answer that could only be known by someone who knows that secret proof, but would be nearly impossible for someone else to figure out. This interactive proof process has proven useful outside the world of encryption. Once we had this idea of an interactive proof, it turned out it has a lot of applications in what's called complexity theory, beyond cryptography. Goldwasser showed that if you could live with a small probability of error, then you can turn some hard problems into ones that are feasible enough to solve. But for other problems, even if you are willing to live with that probability of error, they are still too hard to calculate. She developed an important test for telling whether a very large number is a prime number, and a very large sequence is really random. This revolutionized several branches of mathematics, with far-reaching implications for any scientist or engineer who needs to compute complex problems. She and her students continue to push the frontiers of math still further. Shafi is an amazing mentor. Working with her is a joy. It's so much fun. When you're trying to solve a problem, it's not that simple. I mean, if you keep going, you can actually work things out. And you can work them out in a problem, maybe by redefining the problem, maybe by looking at another problem. But giving up, it's an option, but it's not the right option. Things do have solutions. The 2010 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Computer and Cognitive Science is presented to Shafrira Goldwasser for her fundamental contributions to the theoretical foundation of modern cryptography, which led to techniques that can guarantee secure access to the Internet.